Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be gloomy? Welcome to my crib, so pleasantly drab. Meet my pet Snippy, he's a crabbity grab. This is my pool of slippery slime. You should drop by for a slip sometime. Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be gloomy? Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be gloomy? No zip, no zoom, just a day full of gloom. Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be gloomy? I like when the sky's a big black cloud When lightning strikes and the thunder's loud Drizzly rain just makes my day I like rainbow puffs when they're colored gray Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be gloomy? Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be gloomy? No zip, no zoom, just a day full of gloom Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be gloomy? I went to a beach covered in snow Saw a little helper land on a yeti's toe The yeti helped with tears in his eyes Why don't you pick on someone your size? Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be gloomy? Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be gloomy? No zip, no zoom, just a blah, blah, blah Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be Gloomy. There's a place down the road where mushrooms mush And kids like to sip on Zazuni slush I give them a little and they're covered in goo So gleefully glummy, would you like to be too? Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be gloomy? Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be gloomy? No zip, no zoom, just a day full of gloom Gloom, gloom, ain't it great to be Gloomy. Welcome, friends! It's Royal Request Day. Now, what would you like to ask of your king today? Oh, Rainbow King, we do love the color of our sky, but we were wondering, well, perhaps if it could just be a teensy little more purple. Hey, green? Wait, there's an up no, I said green. green! Of course! Tomorrow, I will fill the sky with a rainbow of the most dazzling shades of every color. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is awesome. You're, You're the, the best. best, Rainbow King. Hi, hey, Your Majesty. True, Bartleby. Please, come join me. Thanks, Rainbow King. I had no idea Royal Request Day would have so many requesters. <laughs> it's never good when they do that. <laughs> Back in a moment, everyone. True, Bartleby. Follow me, please. Sapphire Periwinkle, he's at it again. Who's at what again? My cousin, Glummy Gloomer. He's a gloomy sort of fellow. He can't help it. Can I help you ungloom him? Oh, thank you, True, but he's my gloomy cousin. A friendly chat with him should do the trick, but I must do it before he makes everyone in Rainbow City gloomy. But what about Royal Request Day? Oh, you're right. Someone must hear their ideas and problems today. Oh, true, you could do it. Who, what, me, really? Of course, <gasps> citizens love and trust you immensely. Now all you need is a crown and scepter. Ah. Ooh. It's, it's fun to wave around and point with. Happy Royal Request Day. Ooh. Very regal. <laughs> it really is fun. How is a queen supposed to sit, B? I don't know. I've never been a queen. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Woo! You're a natural. Your queen is ready. Excuse me, Miss Queen. I keep running into yetis crossing the rainbow path in the never-ending forest. You should use this yeti crossing sign. Thank you, Queen True. <laughs> hey! 
Oh, yeah. First queen problem solved. Give me a paw. Up top. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe queens don't do that. This queen does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> I had a great zoom balloon, but it popped. Then you need another great zoom balloon. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, sure. Why not? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great! I thought I heard my name in there somewhere. <laughs> um, Miss Queen, your height is true, ma'am. My name is Mila, and I found a cute little critter from the forest. Can I keep him? Of course, Mila. I love pets. Hooray! Oh, and can I walk him whatever I want? All the time! Pets love walks! Wow, thanks! You're the best queen the Rainbow Kingdom's ever had! Bye! Snack. <sighs> okay, who's next with a request? <sighs> Royal request day is over, B. That was fun, but a lot of work. Huh, weird. I never felt perkier. <laughs> Bartleby. <laughs> okay, we'll take one more request. Your Highness, cup quick. We have an emergency. Gloomer, my dear cousin, why are you so glum? It's a lovely day. The sun gets in my eyes. And the birds are singing. The same song over and over and over. Oh, it all makes me so gloomy glum. I'm so very, very glum. And so gloomy and humdrum. Ugh, why won't people let me be? I say happy's overrated, and it just makes me irritated. I just want to be glum, so let me be. Huh. Where did you get that gloom scepter, Glummy? Uncle Grump gave it to me for my millionth birthday. Yay. It wasn't the one I wanted. Gummy Gloomer, wait! What's that horrible smell? That's the emergency. The stink is so bad, it's driving everyone out of the park. Yay! <laughs> wow! That smell is amazing. It's like a ripe old cheese. <laughs> you like it? I think it's the worst stink that ever stunk. Where is it coming from? That's the cute little forest critter she wanted to walk. Hi, um, Mila? Quite true. Your Majesty Highness, me, ma'am. Um, I know I said you could walk your critter whenever you wanted. He's my pet now. My mom calls him Stinko. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Excuse him. Um, sure. But can't you smell uh, Stinko? No, I have a snarfly nose. I can't smell anything right now. Why? Does Stinko smell like a beautiful bunch of flowers? Even better. Mm. Well, I was, uh, thinking... A big pet like this would have more fun playing an inside game, like checkers or charades, or maybe just take a bath. Not really. Stinko loves being outside and going for walks. <laughs> Excuse him. <laughs> And he loves to play. Okay, bye! <laughs> I need to get rid of this stink. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, much better. <clears throat> oh, hi. <laughs> okay, your dive was better. I admit it. Hey, what if we use these flowers to make Stinko smell nicer? <clears throat> Great problem solving, Queen True. Mila, Stinko! 
Nice flower blanket. I liked it better when Stinko stunk, though. Wow, these flowers are so beautiful. Thanks, Queen Majesty Drew, Your Highness, ma'am. Come on, Stinko! <laughs> He's gonna blow. Queen for a day is not working out well, is it? Oh, I don't know. I think this poncho is pretty kicky. Stinko, come back! If we're gonna stop Stinko from stinking up Rainbow City, we're gonna need some wish help. Right. Sweet, sweet stink poncho. Cumulo! To the wishing tree, please. My stink poncho! Wishes, come out, come out. It's not such a bad smell. Hi, Z. We've got a big stink problem outside. You don't say. <laughs> oh, no. I can smell Stinko Stink all the way up here. Yes, but don't worry. I have a wild, windy fern that can blow this stink back outside. <laughs> da, 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 da. Why? I'll keep it. I keep it all. How did the stink problem start? Well, today is Royal Request Day with the King. But the Rainbow King had to go see Glummy Gluma. So he made it Royal Request Day with the Queen. And I'm the Queen. Oh, congratulations, Your Highness. That must be hard work. Yeah, it was so hard to keep track of all the Royal Requests. I made a mistake. I told a girl named Mila she could walk her pet anywhere. Anytime. That doesn't sound so bad. But it was. I didn't know her pet was a stink critter. Oh, that's where it came from. And the whole Rainbow Kingdom is filled with the stink. Guess we'd better have a think. <laughs> that rhymed. <gasps> Tell me how the wishes could help. Well, I can't get Stinko to stop stinking but I could use a wish to help him smell better. Covering a bad smell with a good one. Yes, and another wish could move the stink away from people who don't want to smell it, like your wild, windy fern did. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. About these wishes. <laughs> Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Ah, here it is. Your first wish is smell fur. It makes wonderful smells. Sounds like the perfect wish for making Stinko smell better. <laughs> now, where's your second wish? Ah. Whoosh. It can suck air in strongly and blow it out just as strong. So we can blow away Stinko smell and send it wherever we want it to go. I'll send it my way. I'll take care of it. Oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, Sizer. It can make things very big or very small. <laughs> that's fun. I don't know how changing size will get rid of a stink, but I'll think of something. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> Bye, Z. Good luck solving the stink problem. Glummy Gloom, must you spread your gloom all around like this? No. 
But keeping it to myself would be a waste. I don't like waste. Aww. Oh, shoo. Buddy pal, and we should have warned you about how great that Ooh. smell is. <clears throat> Hi, Mila. Hi, Stinko. <clears throat> How's your walk going? Not so great. I can't find anybody to play with Stinko. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm so sorry. If I'd done my queenly duties right, none of this would have happened. But maybe I can fix it with some wish help. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, snapper! <laughs> Wish come true! When Stinko goes past, spritz him with your sweet smell. Now! <laughs> <laughs> it worked! You smell good, Stinko! Nice spritzing, Smelfer. <laughs> <laughs> Stinko smell. It's stinking up smell for his clown, too. Uh, the stink's even worse now. You mean better? How long does stink last in a jar, do you think? Okay, we tried giving Stinko a sweet smell, but that didn't work. So let's try getting rid of his stinky smell. Yeah, I'd collect it all if I could. That's what Woosh is gonna do. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Woosh! Wish come true! Okay, Woosh, I hope you've got space for a whole lot of stink. Just one last sniff. from all this cheeriness. Rainbow King? Are you all right? Being around Glummy must be making me gloomy, too. Meh, no matter. What's there to be happy about anyway? Did I just say that? He's heading to Rainbow Castle right now to gloomify it. I need help. I don't bother. <gasps> this is bad, Bee. The King's gotten gloomy. We have to help him. But what about Woosh? I don't know how long he can hold that sweet, sweet stink. All aboard! <laughs> well, that's oh. something you don't see every day, isn't it? Come on, Bee. We'll have to take him Ooh. with us. Rainbow City needs more gloom. No, we can't let Gloomy gloomify Rainbow Castle. I wish I'd thought of that. Rainbow King, snap out of it! Oh, my paws can't snap. Wait, maybe my tail can. Oh, Airballs! Gloomy, not everyone wants to be gloomy. And not everyone wants to be cheery. It's true, true. Oh, what are we gonna do? I have one wish left, Sizer. But how can a size wish help us stop Gloomy from gloomifying things? Let's think about this. Gloomy makes things gloomy by zapping them with his gloom scepter. But he can't zap anything if he can't find a scepter. I'll have Sizer shrink it down really small. 
I love your big idea. Your uh, small idea. <laughs> you know what I mean. Sizer, I need you. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Sizer. Wish come true. Sizer, let's make Glummy's Gloom Scepter tiny. Rainbow Castle. I bet it makes people smile just looking at it. I can fix that. Huh, what's happening? I don't like it when things happen. Great job, Sizer! Yeah, now Glummy will never be able to... Uh, there we go. Ow. Yeah, I found it. Oh, my eyes are just too good sometimes. <gasps> hmm. Um. Hmm. Oh, no! This is terrible! Uh, true? It's worse than you think. <laughs> well, this is going to be difficult. That smell, it's not bad. Might be nice to have this all the time. Hey, did you hear that, Drew? That sounded like a request. <laughs> a royal request. You're right, Bee. If Glummy likes the smell so much, as queen for a day, I say we give it to him. <gasps> I don't have to give up my stink jar, do I? No, I have an even better idea. Sizer, oh. I need you. Can you shrink down that big stink cloud? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Wow! A super concentrated stink cloud! That'll last forever. Glummy, do you think riding the stink cloud would cheer you up long enough to ungloomify everything? Uh, no promises, goody goody true shoes. <laughs> Oh, hey, not bad. Oh, oh, that's better. It worked. And now for Glummy's wand. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. Now back in the pack. True, you did it. <laughs> Everything's cheery again. <laughs> How did you enjoy being queen for a day? It was harder than I thought, Your Majesty, and I made some mistakes. That's okay, True. To tell you the truth, even I don't have all the answers all the time. Who does? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, mister. You just want someone to play with. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Who'd have thought this thing could solve a problem? Yeah, who knew? I never doubted you. <sighs> I am still so very glum, but just look how far I've come. If you don't like it, that's too bad. Some stinks stink and some stinks smell. What kind you like, no one can tell. Take my jar and I'll be sad. We walk and play, it's very fun. And we don't bother anyone. <laughs> this place is great, it's what we like. Everyone from cats to kings. <laughs> All of us like different things. Our likes don't need to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> It's happening! Barnaby! It's happening! It's Happy Hearts Day! Happy, happy Hearts Day! It's the day that always makes us happy! I give you a happy heart. You give me a happy heart. We love how it makes us both feel happy. Once a year we sing a song and celebrate the love we feel for all. Give me a happy heart. 
I give you a happy heart. It feels good to make somebody happy. It feels good to make somebody happy. It feels good to make somebody happy. Yeah! Happy Hearts Day is the best day ever. We're down to our very last delivery. Terrific, Topaz. You certainly move fast. I only just started delivering my happy hearts to all my friends. It helps if you sing the song while you work. That's a pro tip. We're almost done delivering our happy hearts. The only person left on our list is Glummy Gluma. I'm sorry, but Glummy Gluma never, ever, ever shows up on Happy Hearts Day. Why not? I thought attendance was mandatory. It's so much fun when everyone's together. It certainly is. But Glummy likes to be gloomy by himself in Soggy Bottom Swamp. That's just how he likes it. That's so sad. Nobody should be alone and gloomy on Happy Hearts Day. Happy Hearts Day, Your Highness. Hello, Farmer Mosser. And a Happy Hearts Day to you. Oh, Blue Bother. I almost forgot. Wait a minute, Farmer Mosser. I have a little something to share with you. You know what, Bee? What? We should go see Glummy Gluma and bring him a happy heart. I don't know if Happy Hearts Day is really Glummy's thing, True. He seems more like a mopey, mumble month kind of guy. This Happy Hearts Day, we're going to help Glummy be the happiest he can be. Right. Um, yeah. The happiest he can be. Come on. The happiest he can be. Glummy. Glummy Gluma. Glummy? Okay. I've heard that Glummy lives in a hollowed out tree, so let's stay sharp and be on the lookout. Uh, look out! Something sharp! <gasps> it's Glummy Gluma! Glummy! Glummy Gluma! Glummy? It's true! Remember me? He must be getting snacks ready for us. Happy Heart Day, Glummy! Uh, no thanks. He seems sadder than usual. I'm not sad. I just want to be by myself. But, Glummy, it's Happy Hearts Day. The happiest day of the year! And I came all the way here to give you your very own happy heart. Oh, joy. Okay, I guess you won't leave till I come out. Nope! nope. You know, happy's not really my thing. Huh? Happy is everyone's thing. See? Now you try. Uh, what do I do with it? No, 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 no! You don't eat it, you... Huh? <gasps> Your happy heart looks kind of... Blue! Oh, um... I broke it, didn't I? I'm sorry. Maybe try giving it a hug and think happy thoughts. I don't know what that is. Happy thoughts are things that make you feel good. Go ahead, think of your favorite things, like balloons. Pixie Boof Crackers. Or baby rock critters. Mm. You never know unless you try. Fine. happen, does it? I've never seen that happen. It's like it's turned into an unhappy heart. You did think of your favorite things, didn't you? Oh, green clouds, melted ice cream, oh, no one in my swamp, my very favorite things. I've got a funny feeling about that blue heart. Let's keep an eye on it, B. Just in case. Just in case. Cue! The one with the super sad face like this. Oh. Things could start to get frowny, so we need to follow it. We'll be right back, Glummy. Go, go, Cumula! Frowny? Me likey. Here we go, Cloud. <clears throat> go. Oh, there it goes! It's heading toward the wishing tree. 
Don't worry, True. Maybe the happy heart will turn the unhappy heart pink and happy again. <laughs> or not. Oh, no. Now all the happy pink hearts have turned blue and gloomy. Come on, Cumulo. Follow that blue heart before it turns everybody gloomy. Oh, look. Everything's coming up blue. Whoopee. Ooh, why aren't you just the tastiest looking little numbleberry? Perfect for making jam. <sighs> but I don't like jam anymore. It's too yummy. You're a bit blue. And you seem kind of gloomy. Oh, true. Me? Gloomy? Well, ain't that something? Ah! It's the blue heart! It was on Farmer Mosser. That blue heart must be what made him gloomy. Shades of Cerulean. Where did all these blue hearts come from? Is this a happy heart? Well... Kinda. It looks like a happy heart, but a little different. Yeah, well, the main difference is, I guess that it's blue, and also, if it touches you, it doesn't make you happy. It makes you gloomy. Oh, dear. Just like Glummy Gloomer. You rang. <laughs> Glummy Gloomer? You left Soggy Bottom Swamp on Happy Hearts Day? Perplexing Pink. I, I'm perplexed. Watch out. Rainbow King! Told ya. Oh, when did it get so sunny? First Farmer Mosser, and now Rainbow King. Soon everyone's going to turn gloomy. So how do we fix Happy Hearts Day now? Wait, I have an idea. Happy Hearts to the rescue! Mopey Move. Look at this cheery mess. Okay, that did not work. We need wish help. Come on, Bartleby. Look out, Cumulo! Don't touch those blue hearts or you'll become Gloomulo! a girl, Cumulo. That was some top-notch flying. Happy Hearts Day! Aw, thank you. We've got an emergency! We need to save Happy Hearts Day! Huh? Wait, what do you mean? I wanted everyone to feel happy, so I gave a happy heart to Gloomy Gloomy. And then he thought gloomy thoughts instead of happy thoughts! And then the pink happy heart turned blue! And then Farmer Maso and Rainbow King got gloomy! If we don't do something fast, everyone will be gloomy, and instead of the happiest day of the year, it'll be the gloomiest day ever! <laughs> Active asteroids! That is an emergency! Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, first I need a way to stop the blue hearts from making more people gloomy. Then, I need a way to change anyone who's already gloomy back to being themselves again. Wishing Tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing Tree, Wishing Tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Look at the bird. <laughs> Wishing Tree, share with me. Absolutely incredible!
Let's see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Goopy. An amazing bubble dome wish that can keep anything contained. Can it contain my excitement? Aww. Oh. <laughs> Goopy, you can stop the blue hearts from leaving the wishing tree so they don't touch anyone else. <laughs> Introducing Slurpo. <laughs> I love this wish. Slurpo. Slurpo's a vacuum wish that can gather anything up with super strong force. Slurpo! Slurpo, Slurpo, Slurpo! Wow. Slurpo, I'll bet you can slurp up all the blue hearts that have already left the wishing tree. And finally, we have Sizer, a size wish. It can make anything teeny tiny or super big. Hi, Sizer. Great to see you again. Uh -huh. I'm not sure how you'll help us make everyone ungloomy, but I'm sure we'll find a way. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my path. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Good luck, True. See ya, Bartleby. Bye, Z. <laughs> Thank you, Wishing Tree. We're sorry you're feeling a little blue. Hmm. Okay, B. We need to keep these unhappy hearts here. Time for my first wish. Zip zap you, I choose you. Wake up, Goopy. Wish come true. Hi, Goopy. I know you can bubble over anything. We need you to wrap yourself around the entire wishing tree. Ready? figure out how to ungloom everyone. Uh, true. We missed some blue hearts and they're heading to the city. We've got to stop them. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Slurpo. <laughs> wish come true. Hi, Slurpo. Slurpo. Hope you're hungry, because we've got to slurp up all those hearts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's clean up this town. Slurp. 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 There's one more! Whoa! Slurpo, thanks for your help. Your excuse, Slurpo. Back in my pack. Now we just have to ungloom the wishing tree and anyone else who's been gloomified. But how do we do that? Well, the wishing tree got gloomy after a blue heart landed on it. And the first heart turned blue when Glummy Gloom touched it. I think Glummy's the only person who can help us now. Let's go back to Soggy Bottom Swamp. Glummy's tree was just up ahead. Wait a minute. Hey, is that who I think it is? Oh. Rainbow King. A groggy, foggy day to you, True. Hey. This is my alone zone. Bartleby, everyone's been gloomified by the unhappy hearts. And they're all here in the soggy bottom swamp. Ooh. Oh, the best part of being the only person who didn't like Happy Hearts Day was being by myself. This is terrible, which is something I usually enjoy. Now even terrible is ruined for me. Glummy, wait! Ugh, Happy Hearts Day is ruined. It's supposed to be the happiest day of the year. And we're supposed to share happy thoughts and make everyone happy. 
Maybe not everyone wants to be happy. Why wouldn't you want to be happy? Because I like being glum. That's it! What's it? Mommy, is it okay if I come join you? I suppose. Thank you, Glummy. <sighs> wow. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? You're right, Glummy. This is beautiful. Glummy, if you had your own special day, what would you want? Well, it wouldn't be sunny. I don't like the sun. It hurts my eyes. So, it would be foggy instead. Yeah, that would be better. I do like the fog. It's so mysterious. I don't like mysterious fog. Okay, non-mysterious fog. What else? Hmm. No chirpy birds. Yeah, they hurt my ears. Sometimes I feel like that too, especially when I just want to sleep in. Exactly. I think I get it now. Your special day would just be... different. Are you calling me different? That's the best compliment I've had all day. We can call it glum chums who like to be alone by themselves to wallow all day, day. How about Glum Chums Day for short? That sounds great. Mm. Blue. My favorite color. I can see why you like it, Glummy. It's beautiful. And for me, so is pink. I love it because it makes me feel so happy. And you like blue because it makes you feel so gloomy. Glummy, I've got an idea. Let's try something. Well, okay, just because it's you, True. True, what are you doing? Ah, uh, what's happening? Whoa! Whoa! Hmm? Um, what just happened? I have no idea. Whoa! Purple. Not bad. This is actually kind of fun! Finally, we agree on something. This purple rain is the best! <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you laugh like that. It's so cute. Purple rain is okay, I guess. It doesn't make me unhappy. <laughs> 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 Yay! <laughs> Precipitous purple! How delightful to see you all here! Rainbow King, isn't this purple rain amazing? It certainly is! <gasps> I almost forgot! The wishing tree! <laughs> it's still covered with blue hearts! We need to get this purple rain over to the wishing tree! Cumulo! Hi, Cumulo! Do you think you might be able to push this purple rain cloud out of Soggy Bottom Swamp and into the Rainbow Kingdom? <laughs> Thanks for everything, Glummy! Bye! See you, Bye Glummy! Bye-bye! So long. What? Oh, oh, oh. The purple rain is turning the glummy blue hearts back to happy pink hearts. But it's not big enough to cover all the blue hearts and all the blue citizens, too. I've got an idea that can help get all the blue hearts pink again. It's time for my third wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Sizer! Wish come true! Hi, Sizer! <laughs> Ready to make that purple rain cloud super duper big? <laughs> Go, Sizer! Thanks, <laughs> 
Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Fantastic fuchsia. Thank you, True, for saving the day and making it extra special. But the day wouldn't have needed saving if I'd just let Glummy Gloom up be himself. That's okay, True. Now we know for the next Happy Hearts Day. You're right. It's okay that Glummy is alone in his swamp. As long as he feels what he wants to feel. Thanks, Glummy. And happy Glum Chums Day. I'm soaking wet. I can't see a thing in this fog. And I'm all alone in my soggy swamp. Oh, perfect. Big mussy mess. Okay, Bartleby. If you were the Rainbow King, where would you want to set up my nibbles and zips party? <laughs> So many choices. Um, uh, let's see. Um, here! <laughs> Bartleby. <laughs> what? This is the perfect spot. It's where all the snack action is. Wow. Getting ready for a juice party with the king sure is making me... Thirsty? Then it's time for a sip of sweet, sweet Suzuni juice. Nectar of the gods. After you. Uh, excuse me. Oops. Sorry, was that the last one? You just gave me a great idea! Do you want to use a straw um, like a pretend mustache? <laughs> no, silly. We can get some freshly squeezed Zazuni juice for the Rainbow King. And I know just where to get it. Yeah nibbles and sips, nibbles and sips. No quibbles or squabbles. We'll slurp and we'll gobble. Each crumb and each drip of those nibbles and sips. <laughs> Rainbow Guard! I'm feeling nibbly and sippy. What time does True's party start? Hmm. At 3 p.m. Lavender luck. That gives me plenty of time to get ready. Rainbow Guard, please polish my scepter for me. While I practice my nibbling and sipping. There it is. Happy Farming Valley. And there's the Zuni Moss Island. These islands are so beautiful. Well, hi there, True and Bartleby. Hi, Farmer Mosser. We're having a nibbles and sips party for the Rainbow King today, and we were wondering if we could have some... Fresh squeezed Zazuni juice? Wow! How did you know? That's why everyone comes to Zazuni Moss Island. It's like he can read minds. I am very impressed by this farmer. <laughs> the zingy goodness of Zazuni juice comes from the Zazuni moss we grow right here in our fields. Ah, oh, this is so... Whoa! Soft Zazuni moss. So cozy. So very softy soft. Can Zazuni moss grow anywhere, Farmer Mosser? We can only grow it on this island because it grows so fast. Watch. That is fast. Now I'll show you how this mask gets juiced. Bartleby, <laughs> come on, you silly sleepyhead. Huh? What? Oh, I'm right. Ah, uh, just one more second. Okay. Okay, I really have to stop now. And here we have our Zazuni juicer. Wow, that juicer is humongous! The Zazuni moss is scooped up and then dropped into the juicer. It squishes and stretches the moss and then twists it to squeeze all the juice out. Amazing. Is it Zazuni juice yet? Almost. Almost? And that is freshly squeezed Zazuni juice. Enjoy. Perfect. Take as many as you like for your nibble and uh, uh, sip a thing. Wow. Thanks, Thanks Farmer Mosser. Anytime. Bye bye now. Huh? You don't belong there, Moss. Bartleby, come on. 
Uh, be right with you. I should probably give this back to Farmer Mosser. Farmer Mosser? Farmer Mosser! Farmer Mosser? Farmer Mosser! <laughs> oh well, guess I'll just have to hold on to this. Very soft piece of moss. Super soft, soft moss of ultimate softness. Wow, so soft. All settled? Ah, you bet, yeah. It was a long ride. I could really use a nap. Come on, Bartleby. The king's gonna be here any minute. Uh, fine. <laughs> okay, Moss, you just stay here until I can come back and nap on you. I'll take you back home later. Sleep tight. One last thing. Can you help me set the table, please? I sure can. You take the nibbles and I'll take the sips. Whoa! Is everything okay? Um, yes. I, I um, oh, just see a spot that needs cleaning. But I'm on it. So good! Any second now! It sure is taking you a long time to put out three juice balls. Well, I like things to be just so. All done? Hold on! <sighs> Whoa! What's all this? <laughs> Funny story. Remember all that moss we saw at the moss farm today? Well, I actually sort of brought a teeny tiny bit of it home with me. <laughs> yes, I did that. Teeny tiny? Well, it was teeny tiny when I got it, um, but it's not so teeny tiny now. Oh, right. Farmer Mosser told us that the moss grows really, really fast. Remember? Uh-oh, I think I slept through that part. Did I mention how wonderfully soft that moss was? <laughs> A few times. But on the bright side, now the whole house can be my bed. I'm always just seconds away from a full-on nap. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Everywhere, every time, every place. I can sleep or have a snooze on a lamp or on some boots. On a table or a door, on the fridge or on the floor. Toadstool table, that's for me. The list is endless, can't you see? Let it spread, I'll have a bed of mossy softness for my head. Anywhere, anytime, any place. Everywhere, every time, every place. Oh, Moss, Moss, you are so soft. That was a great song, Bee, but look how much moss grew while you were singing. It'll be hard to have a nibbles and sips party when my house is so mossy. No problem. We'll get rid of it. It grew back. That's just what happened at the farm. Okay, new plan. Let's have the party outside. We'll tidy up the moss later. Great thinking. We can keep the moss from spreading by closing all the doors and windows. Quick, B, close the door. Problem solved. Now we can have our nibbles and sips party outside. Yep, that moss isn't going. Anywhere? Uh oh, our little moss problem is now a big moss problem, and we're going to need some help to stop it. Some witch help. Cumulo! Hi, Cumulo. Please take us to the witching tree. Faster! The moss is spreading! Hurry!
<laughs> wow. Very good. Oh, greetings, Chum Bartleby. Hi, Z. What are you doing? <laughs> We're practicing balancing. Gotcha. Thanks, Wishes. We will work on this more later. What can I help you with, True? I'm hosting a Nibbles and Sips juice party for the king today. But I have a big Zazuni moss problem, and it seems to be getting bigger. Quarks and quasars! Is it ever? Moss is spreading all over Rainbow City. All right. Let's stop and have a think. <sighs> Looks like the moss is a big problem. What were you thinking, True? Well, Bartleby brought some moss back from Happy Farming Valley, and it's growing really fast. But it's so soft. <laughs> <laughs> I need some wishes to help me stop the moss from growing and spreading everywhere. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Tree Z. Can you show me what their powers are? I certainly can. Let us see. Ah, yes, here it is. Whoosh is the name of your Windy Wish. It has respiration super capacity. Huh? That means he sucks in and blows out really strongly. <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of moss to blow away. What's next? Where is... <laughs> Chilzy is a wish that can freeze things in ice. Perfect. I could freeze the moss to stop it from growing. Great idea. We'll make mossicles. <laughs> <laughs> Your last wish is twisty. It can twist things in all sorts of different ways. <laughs> I have no idea how Twisty will slow down the moss, but I'll think of something. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> Bye, Z. Thanks for all your help. Bye. <laughs> Splendid work, Rainbow Guard. My scepter is as shiny as a star now. I'm ready to go to True's house for the nibbles and sips party. Mm -hmm. <gasps> a wall of moss? I don't think it's moss season. I can't get through it. Can you try? <laughs> Purple petunias, what a predicament. Mm. Oh no! It's getting worse. If we don't stop this fast, the Rainbow Kingdom will turn into the Zazuni Moss Kingdom. Mm. Oh, terrible thing a Zazuni Moss Kingdom would be. Bartleby, you've seen what's going on around here, right? I know. I'm just going to miss it so much. Oh, Bartleby. Time to get this mossy problem under control. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Woosh. Wish come true. Are you ready to huff and puff and blow the moss away? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Whoosh, try harder. I know you can do it. 
Side two? Bartleby. <sighs> okay. After you. forget how soft you were. So very soft. I'll get you something just as soft to sleep on. Promise? Pa promise. Okay, but I don't think you'll find anything softer than super comfy soft Suzuni. <gasps> it already reached the Rainbow Castle. Can you hold any more moss? <laughs> Thanks for helping, Loosh. I'll be back to get you after you digest and get smaller again. But right now, it's time for some freezing action. Cumulo! We have to hurry to stop this moss. Okay, Chilzy, come on out. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Chilzy! Wish come true! Settle in, Chilzy. Get ready, Bartleby. It's about to get icy. Ha! Huh. Good thing I have built-in mittens. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Do you really think Chilsey can freeze all this? We have to try. Time to freeze some moss. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. The moss stopped growing. Let's keep going. Chilzy did it. Everything's frozen. And now the rainbow castle. Ready? Chilzy, great job! <laughs> Back in the pack. <laughs> Phew! Hello, True Bartleby. I thought I wasn't going to make it to your nibbles and sips party today. We had a bit of a Zazuni moss problem, Your Majesty. But we stopped it from growing. Once we get it all shoveled up, it's nibbles and sips for all. Yay! And look, the weather couldn't be better for it. All warm and sunny. Warm? And sunny? I've got a soggy, sinking feeling about this, True. What? Huh? what? what? Oh, no! oh. I should have left that piece of moss back on Zazuni Moss Island. I'm sorry, True. I did this. It's all my fault. It's okay, Bartleby. We'll get things back to normal with my last wish. Twisty the Twist Wish. How can twisting stop the moss from mossing? All that wish does is twist, twist, twist. I feel like we've seen twisting like this before. But where? I twisted dough into pretzels yesterday for lunch. 
They were delicious. Yum. Oh, wow. <laughs> really good. And I twisted a balloon into a balloon mouse for you this morning. I love that balloon mouse. Um, while it lasted. And the juicer we saw at Mosser's farm, it had a funnel that twisted the moss and made the juice. Wait a minute. Bartleby, that's it. Twisting turns Zazuni moss into Zazuni juice. The moss is gone and only juice is left. Sounds like a great plan. If anyone can get rid of this moss, it's you, true? Thanks, Rainbow King. Ready, B? Always. Except for when I'm napping. But I'm not, so yes! <laughs> Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Twisty! Wish come true. Okay, Twisty, let's Twisty twist the moss and make it go away. <laughs> Rodeo rainbows! That's great! Thanks, Drew. My pleasure, Your Majesty. Let's go, B. <laughs> Making me thirsty. <laughs> okay, everyone, get ready to sip, sip, sip. Whoosh and Chillsy really helped clean up that moss, but Twisty made enough Zazuni juice for the whole Rainbow Kingdom. Mm -mm. Love that Zazuni juice, and it's great with fishy poof crackers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Twisty and Woosh, back in the pack. Cherry Jubilee, true. These nibbles and sips are superb. Thank you, Your Highness. And best of all, there's no moss left in the Rainbow Kingdom. Here, here. <sighs> Bartleby, I haven't forgotten my paw promise. I knew you wouldn't. I got you a new pillow to nap on that's just as soft as moss. <gasps> Aw, thanks, True. But there's no way a pillow could be as soft as... <laughs> <laughs> Sweet dreams, B. <sighs> Princess Grizzbot! And while you're in deep thought, I'll see if we can climb down from here. Whoa. I could call Tree for help. No, I don't want to. But I kind of have to. But I don't want to. I could, but I won't. Hi, True. Hi, Griselda. I'm kind of stuck on my balcony right now. I could totally get down myself, but if you're bored, I thought you might like to help. We'll be right there. Icy Pops will have to wait, B. <gasps> Just kidding. Good one! Ah, you had me totally. <laughs> Still trapped on a balcony here. We're on our way, Griselda. <laughs> Zelda! Huh? <gasps> Hop into Floto! <sighs> Why do I have to do all of the hard work? <laughs> Thanks, Floto. You deserve some rest. I really could have gotten down by myself. I just thought it would be fun to have a play date, you know? Oh, my. Thank you. Calling true was my idea. 
Choo-choo is amazing. Choo-choo-choo-choo-choo. I can hear you. Can it choo? Can it choo? Can it choo? You must love all those cheers. Who's amazing? I'm glad they're happy, but I just like to help. Sure, helping is probably good, but all that clapping, that's why you help, right? Nope. I just like helping. Oh. Yay! I don't get it. <laughs> sure, everybody cheers for True, but she has those amazing wishes to help her help people. Do I have anything as amazing as wishes? <laughs> well, do I? <laughs> you? Grismos? Uh. Hey, you're right. True has wishes, but I've got Grismos. Yeah. And I have just the job for you. Wishes. Thank you, Grismos! I can't believe I just thanked the Grismos. Come on, Perky! Use the trap door! <laughs> Royalty away! <laughs> Rainbow City, look at me! I'm as helpful as can be! Oh. Oh. Clap your hands, say hooray! Thank Griselda, yeah! You will see these three wishes aren't for me. <laughs> Clap your hands, see hooray! Think for yourself, yes, that's me! <laughs> stomping here, stomping there, Grisbox save you everywhere! Giant robots are the coolest heroes of the Now's our chance. Have no fear. Grizzbot is here. <laughs> thanks, giant robot man. <laughs> no need for thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> is that cheering for me? <laughs> Don't worry. Grizzbot's here to save the day. <laughs> I know. Yes, I know. I'm amazing. <laughs> but don't stop. <laughs> Don't forget to tell everyone about your new hero. You've never had a lunch like this, Bee. An all-around, round lunch where everything is round. Rolly fruit, control balls, globy pie, and your favorite, Suzuni juice balls. If it's round, it's going down in my belly. That's also round. Something's happening outside. Griselda? You look different. Did you change your hair? Oh, you noticed. True. Oh, funny running into you here on this street. You know I live here, Griselda. You visit me all the time. Perfect. Then you can just kick back at home. Have a nap. Finish our lunch. Because you and your wishes can take the day off. Princess Grisbot is on helper duty. Um, thanks? Oh, it's nothing. It'll be a breeze. My house! Oops. There. Good as new! Do we say goodbye to the Rainbow Kingdom now, or wait until after she's broken it? If Griselda wants to help people, that can only be a good thing. Right? Uh-huh, yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. For, for sure. That's enough help 
for one day. I'm so nice to people. <laughs> Ahem, bendy straw? Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> It didn't roll. Why? Ah! I thought she wanted to do good deeds. These deeds are not good. I agree. Dancing like that is not good for anybody. That's not Griselda. That's Faruki. That dog does not have a license to drive a giant princess shaped robot. Come on, B. Which way did it go? True! I simply cannot find my fabulous Princess Grizzbot! Never mind. <coughs> Fruki! <coughs> Sweetie Muffins! You have to come down from there! <coughs> Fruki! <coughs> what are we going to do? <coughs> Yetis, of course. You're big and strong. Do you think you can stop the giant robot for us? are great at playing tetherball. <laughs> eh, not so great at robot stopping. Princess Grisbot is too big for us to stop by ourselves. We need some wish help. Oh, Cumulo! Take us to the wishing tree, please, Cumulo. <laughs> What a pleasant surprise. Z, there's a giant Princess Grizzbot on the loose, and we need some wish help. Fast. <gasps> Psst. True. Don't tell the wishes I'm here. Huh? <laughs> What's with the stand, Easy? It keeps the wishes company when I'm not around. Your flat Z fell a little flat. Z? Ha <laughs> Flat Z! Back to the drawing board. And back to your copies, please, wishes. <laughs> Was there something you needed help with, True? Yes, yes, True needs help. There's a problem with the Grizzbot. <laughs> Princess Grizzbot, the fabulous giant robot my Grizzmo's made for me. Giant robot? Yep, and it's kind of, sort of. A lot out of control. Hmm, I'm sure we can find a solution. Let's have a sit and think about this. Griselda? I don't sit on mushrooms. Then why are we all sitting at a time like this anyway? It helps us think things through. Anyway, the Grisbot is out of control with Fruki stuck inside. It's starting to wreck things around Rainbow City. How do you plan to fix the problem? Well, I need some wish help to stop the Grisbot from stomping around. But I also want to keep Rainbow City and Fruki safe. My Fruki Wolfgums get so cranky when he misses his belly rubs. I'm sure the wishing tree can help. Uh. With the Grizzbot, not a belly rub. The wishing tree has heard you, True. 
It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. was a little amazing. A little? <laughs> okay, a lot amazing. These are very interesting wishes. Let's look them mm -hmm. up in the Wishopedia. Oh, it's amazing! Thanks. Your first wish is Blue Boo. <laughs> it makes a coating of glue so sticky strong, almost anything will stick to it. <laughs> It'll have to be really strong if it's going to hold Princess Grizzbot. Your second wish is bring it. It's a powerful <laughs> magnet wish that can pull any object made of metal towards it. Oh. You mean like my Princess Grizzbot? Don't you get a scratch on her. <laughs> <laughs> Your third wish is zillion. It can take one thing and poof, make it into lots and lots of that thing. So, if I had a diamond... I could make it into lots of diamonds! Or we could use it to help stop Princess Grizzbot somehow. Oh, that. Sure. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Oh. Good luck, True. Go grab that Grizzbot. You know? It could be so much more dazzling in here, with a little glitter, some jewels. No thanks. Thanks, cute <laughs> My grease spot. Ah! Oh, look out! Ah! Oh. I think Fruki heard me. Now's our chance. Let's see if Glue Boo can make Princess Grizzbot stick around. Zip, zap, zoo. I choose you. Wake up, Glue Boo. <laughs> Wish come true. <laughs> Hi, Glue Boo. Are you ready to help? Mm-hmm. Then let's make this road super sticky. I guess 
Unless you used up all your power. Thanks, Bring It. Oh. Thanks for your help, too, Glue Boo. Oh, no. Uh oh. <gasps> Where is it going? Finally! It's going back to my castle. <gasps> it's going back to my castle! True, do something! Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> Two Griselda's, please. As fast as you can fly. <laughs> Can really move. How are we gonna stop it, True? We've already used two wishes. Well, my third wish is Zillion. He can multiply anything. But how can we use that to stop Princess Grisbot? It's not the robot we need to stop. It's Fruki. But what can we multiply that Fruki really likes? Well, he loves me, of course. And squeaky toys. And me. Bartleby, that's it. Fruki loves you. Giving him more of you to love will get him to come out, stop the Princess Grisbot, and save Griselda's castle. A little drool never hurt anyone. And the world can always use more Bartleby. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to be more cats than you've ever been before? Yep. Set my Bartleby's free! Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! <laughs> Wake up, Zillion! <laughs> Wish come true! Zillion, can you make us a few more Bartleby's? <laughs> Thanks. This won't hurt, will it? <laughs> Not a bit. <gasps> I'm three times, times more handsome than, than I thought. Ooh. Okay, Bartlebees. Get in front of the Grisbot mm -hmm. so Fruki can see all three of you. Got it! Fruki, over here! Who's got kisses for Bartleby? Here, Fruki, Fruki, Fruki! <laughs> <laughs> it's not stopping. Uh, can you Ninja Cats get me up there? One, two, three! for all of us when I say, no problem. Come on, Fruki. Come on. Oh, good, Fruki. Uh-oh, the Grizzpot isn't stopping. Uh, here, Bartleby, take Fruki down. Gotcha. Cat's rule, Bartleby's a cool. Fruki! Gotcha, go! Fruki's toy out of here. Oh, my Fruki's going to get stomped on if someone doesn't do something. Me, I have to do something. Grisbot's gonna crash! Abandon bot! Griselda! You saved Fruki! That was fabulous? Yeah, I was pretty great, wasn't I? <sighs> but nobody was around to see me do it except for you guys. No, oh, but how do you feel? Actually, really good. For some reason, Huh. I could get used to this. Oh. <gasps> Princess Grisbot is destroyed! Oh well, I'll just have my Grismos build me another one. No! Kidding! I'll have them build a giant statue of me instead. They're a lot less stompy. La, 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 la. Da, 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 da. Ready to have Zillion turn you back into just one Bartleby? Bartleby? 
<clears throat> yeah, uh, not yet. I want to let Fruki finish with the other knees first. Please don't. <laughs> A very big mystery. Nom, nom, nom! Nom, nom! Nom, nom, nom! Yes, who is it? <laughs> Somebody sounds hungry. <laughs> My normal berries. Ooh! I got it, I got it! Oh, I got it! True, I found one! Thanks, Bartleby! Found another pie pan, Your Highness! Oh, that's great news! It means more Nummelberry pies for Yeti Spring! Yeti Spring? Yes, the Yetis will be waking up from their winter sleep. They'll be very hungry, and they love nummelberries. Can't get bought off. Head. There, finally. No. Oh. Another pie crust is ready. Special delivery, nummelberries. Bartleby, can you please go get the nummelberries? Berries? Right away, Your Highness. Right away, Your Highness. <laughs> Thank you. The nummelberries are here! And now they're not! The basket is empty. Bum, bum, bum. Empty? I don't get it. The basket was full, and then all of a sudden, poof, it was empty. Ooh, look at that. Oh, well, at least there's one little berry left. Hi there, little berry. Oh, you smell good. Delicious. Yeah. Petrifying purple. Someone has taken my nummel berries. We have a mystery on our hands. Don't worry, Rainbow King. We'll find your missing berries. We'll track them down because Detective True and Detective Bartleby are on the case. We are? Oh, yeah! I mean, we are. Splendid! Best of luck, detectives. Detectives, that's us. Detectives. Yeah. True, what are detectives? They solve mysteries by finding clues and following them. We just need to find our first clue. Clue! Hmm, what's this? Let me see. <gasps> no more berry juice. Our first clue. A big wet clue, too, don't you think? Those are footprints, Bee. Hmm. Whoever took the Nummel berries must have dropped some and then stepped on them. Leaving giant berry footprints when they ran away. We've solved the mystery. This is great. Can I have the first Nummel berry handful? Not quite, Bee. Because where are the berries? I... Oh. Oh, yeah. Let's keep following the footprints. Prince True. Well, then we better split up and look for more clues. <gasps> Another clue! A purple puddle! That could be from Nummelberries. Oh, <laughs> just a nice pop puddle. Uh huh, okay. And uh, when was the last time you ate a Nummelberry, hmm? Admit oh. it. You love Nummelberries, <laughs> don't you? Don't you? <laughs> Uh, why are you shouting? Am I? Sorry. Okay. The buses might be able to answer you if you don't shout. <gasps> Look! More berry footprints! Wow! I am great at this detective stuff. Hi there! Did you see the passenger who left those berry footprints? Nope. I can't see who gets on. I keep my eyes on the road. 
But I did hear some big squishy footsteps on my last trip. A clue! Do you remember anything else? Um... Oh, that passenger kept saying, Yum, yum, yum! Another clue. clue! Could you please take us where that passenger went? Sure, I'm going that way now. Hop on! Baskets. I love baskets. Look, I'm in one. Oh, now I'm in another one. And this one's better. Ooh, is this one better? Or is this one better than this one? Look, a clue. A numbleberry. Do you think these baskets were full of them? Well, they were, but then they weren't. We were supposed to deliver them, but the berries just disappeared. So now we have to send them back up to Bunch of Munch of Island. Bartleby, I wonder if the berry bandit emptied these baskets. Is this, could this be? Another, another clue? clue? Dun, 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 dun. If you don't mind, we'll catch a ride up with this empty basket. Sure thing. Bye, True. And Bartleby. Um, how are we gonna get back up there? I, oh yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Bunch of Munch of Island. Island! Look at that! No! Not again! What's wrong, Farmer Mossa? True! The Numbleberries, they're gone! I just came back from Berry Island, and our whole crop just poof disappeared! <laughs> the whole crop? Well, almost all of it. There's one more basket left. Nom, nom, nom! Oh, not again! No! They really are all gone! What are the Yetis gonna eat now? They're going to eat Nummelberry Pies! Because we're detectives and we're gonna find them. Psst! True. We're all out of clues. We're a little clueless. Hmm. Then we better get some wish help so we can catch the Berry Bandit. Cue! Camilo, to the wishing tree, please. I'm searching for Hide Z, a camouflage wish. It blends in anywhere so you can't see it. Now, I can't see it. We'll help you look for it. <laughs> Sue, where did you go? <laughs> that was fun, Hide Z. <laughs> Thanks, True. So what brings you here today? A berry bandit. All the berries in the kingdom are gone. And it's Yeti Spring. What? That's awful. It is. So Bartleby and I are detectives following the clues. Like squishy berry juice footprints. We're trying to find the berry bandit, but we ran out of clues. Come, sit. Let's have a think. How do detectives usually find clues? Well, they look, listen, and sniff. <laughs> oh, Bartleby, I need a wish that will help me hear better and one that will help me smell better. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree, 
What a fun group of wishes. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about their powers. Your first wish ah, is Snorful. It can sniff out smells that are barely even smelly. Hi, <laughs> <I> Snorful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Snorful can sniff out some new clues for us. Whoa! <laughs> Kiria is a hearing wish. It can pick up sounds from really far away and amplify them back to you. Maybe we can hear the sounds the Berry Bandit makes and follow them to find him. <laughs> and your third wish is Grozer. It can make any plant you find in nature grow larger. Great! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Go get some clues and catch that berry bandit. Back to Bunch of Munch of Island, Cumulo! Wishes glow? You stubbed your toe? <laughs> no, I said thanks, Cumulo. It's loud here, isn't it? Let's see if Heria can hear any clues over all this noise. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Heria. Wish come true. Hear anything, Heria? <laughs> I love saying that. <laughs> Amplified. Oh. Try another sound. Oh. Not this time. <laughs> We're still not hearing any sound clues. Can you try again? That's it. That's it. Yum yum yum. Find that sound. You go that way, I'll go this way. I'm going that way. I mean this way. Whoa! 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 I can hear you, Berry Bandit. A Yeti after him. Wow, this place is amazing. Hey, True, can I have my next birthday party here? <laughs> Be, are you chasing or playing? <laughs> oh. no, 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 no. <laughs> Here he has picked up a sound clue. Let's go. Which way did the berry bandit go? Uh, oh, uh, you don't hear it at all now? Uh, uh, they stopped making noises. Uh, Thanks for all your help, Heria. <laughs> <laughs> A basket! Whee! Wait up, Bartleby! Aren't 
empty baskets great, True? B, that's it. The basket is empty because the berry bandit ate all the berries. That's why Hurry Up couldn't hear it anymore. And if this basket was on the conveyor belt, that must mean the berry bandit has gone back down to... Whoa! The ground? Wow! See? I am a good detective. <laughs> I told you. I told everybody. Look! The berry footprints again! Let's follow those footprints. Footprint. 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 Aw, no more footprints. Detectives never give up. We look, listen, and sniff. We sniff clues out, too. <laughs> okay, so I'm not a dog with a great sniffer. Thankfully, I'm a cat with great looks. You're welcome. <laughs> Did you smell anything? Actually, I do smell a faint scent of numbleberry, but it's not quite smelly enough for me to tell which way the smell went. We have a wish that can help us with that. Snorful, get ready. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Snorful. <laughs> wish come true. <laughs> that tickles. Snorful, can you sniffle the sniffs from this berry and then follow that smell? Wow, Snorful is a super sniffler. Aha! The berry bandit! Caught you berry handed! So where are the rest of the berries? And why did you take them from everyone? Uh, Bartleby. True, please, I'm questioning our suspect in a non-shouty way, I might add. This isn't the berry bandit. Look at the size of its feet. They're way smaller than the ones we saw before. But it, 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 it's eating berries. This little cutie probably just found some spilled berries and stopped to eat them. <laughs> Cutesy, cute, cuteness. Okay, it didn't steal the berries, but it probably saw who did. You're right. Did you see a berry-eating creature with big feet come this way? Or that way? <laughs> um, could you maybe just point to where it went? <laughs> Thanks. Snorkel, can you sniffle any berry smell that way? <laughs> and we're back on the clue trail. Enjoy your berry, cutie. Huh. Did we take a wrong turn instead of a right turn or a left turn? We hey, must have. All that's here is a big wall of rock. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> There's that sound again. <laughs> yetis? Ah! Lots of yetis. Eating lots of numble berries. Now we found our berry bandits. What are we gonna do, True? Ahem. Excuse me, yetis, but those berries, well, they don't all belong to you. Yeah, maybe we should go. Uh oh. Nom, nom, nom. I'm a ninja cat, not a numbleberry. Taking things without asking isn't good. The Rainbow King and Farmer Monster are pretty upset about the missing berries. <laughs> Rainbow King. Miss Rainbow King. <laughs> You miss the Rainbow King. You speak Yeti-ish? Oh, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I do speak a little Yeti-ish. <laughs> Hello, uh, did I mention that I'm a ninja cat? I am not a baby Yeti. Thank you very much. Good meet ya! Oh, boy. Rainbow King, come in. Are you there? True. I'm so happy to hear from you. Did you find my numbleberries? Yes. But I think you should come to the Yeti's cave right away. I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, my Yeti friends must have woken up early. So early that your normal berry pies weren't ready for them yet. And without those pies, the poor things must have been so hungry. Well done, Detectives True and Bartleby. You solved the mystery. Yeah, yeah, they feel bad. Yeah, they feel bad about eating all the berries in the kingdom. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and me too. I feel bad too. Don't worry, my big furry friends. We understand now. Thank you. But what if the Yetis wake up early next spring? What if there aren't any pies or nummel berries? Won't they sneak around and take them again? Sapphire blue. True, that is a problem. Any ideas? I have one. A big one. Uh, uh, Mama Yeti, baby needs his berries. Yetis, you're going to go from berry eaters to berry farmers. We're going to teach you how to grow your own nummel berries. <laughs> That's a great idea! <laughs> oh. ah. This could take a while. Time to use my last wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Grozer! Wish come true! Grozer? Let's turn that sprout into a bush. A bush with nummel berries. Wow! Woohoo! Yeah! Way to go, Grozer! Whoa! <laughs> You're welcome. Now just grow some more bushes, and you'll always have nummel berries ready for Yeti Spring. And what's better than nummel berries? Nummelberry pie! <laughs> Great job, Rainbow King. You know there's six of us, right? <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry again, Bertleby? Oh. <laughs> A snoozy sleepover. Prepare for the buzz of doom! Worthy opponent, Master Pillow. We will meet again. Who's ready for a yummy surprise? Kitty Natty Ninja Cats are always ready for surprises. Ta da! Oh. Popped Peppy Peppers? That's like my fourth favorite snack. After, of course, Fishy Poof Crackers, Fishy Poof Crackers with Zesty Cheese, and Limited Edition Extra Light Poof Fishy Poof Crackers. Hold it. Popped Peppy Peppers? Check. Suzuni juice balls? Check. Bendy straws? Uncheck? <laughs> Thanks, little helpers. And check. There, everything's ready for the sleepover. Okay, back to snacking. Oh, bendy straws! I feel like a princess. <laughs> You never know when a real princess might show up. I'm here! Griselda! <laughs> it wouldn't be a party without you. I know. Where's Fruki? Fruki Kids is right here. <laughs> Care for an ice-cold Zazuni juice? Yes, please. But would you happen to have... A bendy straw? So thoughtful of you, True. Hello, party people! So far, so good. Everything's going just as planned. Now we're just waiting on the Rainbow King. That must be him now! Welcome, Rainbow King! Huh? Your Majesty? Well, uh, oh, <laughs> a lovely lavender evening to you, True and Bartleby. I'm so excited about your sleepover. I was just making sure I didn't forget anything important, like my blankie or my pillow or, uh, hmm. Oh, and, uh, hey, if you need a toothbrush, I got lots. Oh, there's my tail cleaning brush. I was looking for that. Works like a charm. And I found my gum. Bubble chew. Mm. You want some? Ew! No thanks. 
No, it's not a toothbrush. I've got one of those. Oh, what could it be? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've got everything you could possibly need. Purple persimmons! True, your particular predisposition to planning is perfection personified. What he said! Thank you, Rainbow King. Please, come in! Rainbow King, welcome! Good to see you. Well, that's it! Everybody's here. Check! Next up, party time! Oh. We're down to our very last party plan. Aww. Aww. A delicious Nummo Berry pancake breakfast in the morning! Yay! All right, everybody, let's get ready for bed. Justices, I just remember what I forgot to remember. My Moo Moo. I always have my Moo Moo with me at bedtime. Moo Moo? That's not on my list. Can you sleep without it? Well, it has helped me sleep every night for the last three or four hundred million years. But I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll just count little helpers <laughs> until I fall asleep. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, Wait, I skipped one. I'll start over. One, two. Rainbow King, do you want me to get your moo moo for you? It's no problem. Goodness, greenness, no. We'd have to go all the way to the Royal Greenhouse for my Moo Moo. That is pretty far to go. Uh, not to worry, True. I'll fall asleep soon. Okay. If you need anything, just ask. Good night, Rainbow King. Good night, True. Oh, Blue Bother. I mustn't keep everyone awake. I really don't like using sleeping spells. I, I, I can't remember why. Uh, but maybe just this once. Starry Blue, help me snooze. <sighs> I'm feeling snoozy already. <laughs> oh. Lovely summer rain, so refreshing. Bartleby, you're talking in your sleep again. So are you. <sighs> Fruki, you're flying! Huh? What? <gasps> True! Look out! <sighs> <sighs> What's going on? <gasps> Fruki kittens? Fruki! Oh, Fruki welcome! Come down! Gotcha! It's okay, Fruki Snuggles. You're safe with me now. Yes, you are. I definitely didn't plan for this. They're sleep floating. Fascinating. I've read about it. I never thought I'd see it in person. We should pull them down. No! Don't touch him. 
If you do, you'll sleep float too. Can we wake them up? Guess not. <laughs> well, we can't just let them float around bumping into things. We need some rope. Or string. Or a butterfly net. Or a string. Or a super long straw. Or, or a string. string. Good work, little helpers. Wait, where's the Rainbow King? He's there, going out the window. <laughs> Rainbow wake King, up, please wake, wake up! up. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! We need to catch up to him and wake him up. Oh, Cumulo! <sighs> Sorry to wake you, Cumulo, but we've got to go save the Rainbow King. Oh, wait. I forgot to get changed. Um, do we need to get changed too? Nope. Keep your PJs on. <laughs> We're still having a sleepover. I've just got to be ready for action. Good idea. Can you two take Griselda and Fruki back inside? <laughs> Thanks, little helpers. <laughs> Metropolis is sleep floating. Fascinating. Yeah, but Z, everyone in Rainbow City will sleep float right out of town. We need some wish help. And quick. To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo. Z, where are you? I need your help. Uh, true. I'm right behind you. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay. We need something bright to find Rainbow King and something to get the citizens down. Something sticky. This is sticky? Um, no thanks. And we need something loud to wake everyone up. If he wakes up too suddenly, maybe everyone will fall down. Right. I didn't think of that. So, uh, pillows! But everyone's still floating, so we do need something sticky. Tape? Glue? No. Hair gel. Ugh. Z, we need wishes. You're right. We do need wishes. Let's sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, we don't know what will happen if we wake up the Rainbow King suddenly. The other sleep floaters might wake up too. And then fall down. So we'll have to bring everyone down safely first. Good thinking, True. And when everyone is down safely, we'll gently wake up the king and he can break the spell. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. Wishes are incredible. I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Snuggly. Snuggly. Snuggly's a blanket wish that can go big enough for lots of people to take a nap on. And if you sing a lullaby, it'll act like a magnet to anyone who's asleep. You'll be perfect for gathering everyone and keeping them safe and sound. <laughs> Your next wish is Woe Glow. Woe Glow is a light wish. You're exactly what we need on a dark night. <laughs> and for your last wish, Poingy, the bouncing wish. Poingy, Poingy. Poingy is great at bouncing on its own. <laughs> yeah, it's a cat thing. It's what I do. 
<laughs> or you can jump onto it to bounce extra high. I'm not sure how a bouncing wish can help, but I'm sure we'll think of something. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Come on, everybody. We've got to go save the Rainbow King. But this is way too many sleep floaters. I agree. It's going to be very hard to find the Rainbow King in this mess. I have an idea. Take us down to the park, please, Cumulo. <laughs> Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Snuggly. Wish come true. Ready, Snuggly? Snuggly. Oh. Z, you said singing a lullaby makes Snuggly a magnet for anyone who's asleep, right? That's right. Well, let's get humming. Na na na, na na na, na 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 here comes the Rainbow King! Uh-oh! Rainbow King put Snuggly to sleep! Snuggly's losing its power! Oh, no. Rainbow King! He needs to do something, or he'll float away with everyone! That would not be good. I can barely see him now. Huh? Who could be calling at this hour? <gasps> Rainbow King! Momo. He must have pocket bubbled me. Wake up, Rainbow King! Wake up, please! It's no use. Oh, Rainbow King, if only you could tell us what's wrong. Oh, Momo. Even just a clue. Momo. Two word phrase. You know, that points us in the right direction. Momo. Yeah, like that. Momo. That's what's wrong. Rainbow King always has his Moo Moo at bedtime, and he can't settle down without it. That's why he's sleep floating. We've been doing it all wrong. Instead of waking him up, we need to help him have a good night's sleep. Of course. More sleep is the answer to our sleep problem. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. All we have to do is get Rainbow King his Moo Moo. Cumulo! Come on, Bartleby. What? What? Else, what? Go, go, Cumulo! To the Rainbow Castle! Okay, on a scale of one to dark, this is dark. How are we going to find our way? I mean, I don't have that cat's can see in the dark thing. It's always been a great disappointment to me. I remember my mother once... Bartleby? She... Oh, sorry. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Woe Glow. <laughs> wish come true. You're up, Woe Glow. <laughs> Rainbow King said his moo moos in the royal greenhouse. This way. Here's the greenhouse. Hmm. Maybe the Moo Moo is some kind of plant. But there's got to be millions of them. How are we going to know which one is which? Fortunately, every plant is clearly labeled. All right. Let's go look for the Moo Moo plant. Okay, Moo Moo plant, uh, Moo Moo plant. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's not this one. <laughs> ah! True! Wait for me! Not this one. It's not this one either. Or this one. <laughs> Maybe it's that viney one over there. Nope, not over here. Where is it? Hmm. Ah! Guys, look! Is that the Rainbow King? He's floating way too far. We need to find that Moo Moo fast. Oh, we've just looked everywhere, and there's nothing. Nothing but this giant flower pot. <gasps> 
This must be it! True! Shine the light over here! It's the Moomoo -moo plant! The fruit of the Moomoo -moo plant gives off a soft glow and a gentle hum that is helpful for sleeping. So, where's the fruit? Way up there! Now I understand why the wishing tree gave me Poingy. Here, Z, can you hold Woglow? It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Poingy! Wish come true! Okay, Poingy, let's bounce. Poingy! Ready? Let's bounce, bounce, bounce! Go, Poingy, go! Higher, Drew, higher! It's just out of reach! <sighs> How are we gonna get it, Drew? I've got an idea. Bartleby, I need some kitty natty help. I see where you're going with this, True. Let's try this again, Poingy. Uh. I'm very proud of myself. Thanks for your help, Poingy. You too, Woglow. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. Okay, let's bring the Rainbow King his moo moo. Come on, Cumulo. Tricky. If Rainbow King touches me and makes me sleep float, it's up to you two to save the Rainbow Kingdom. Ha! <laughs> no pressure! Rainbow King! I have your moo moo! <laughs> the Rainbow King isn't sleep floating anymore! His moo moo must have broken the spell! <gasps> and look! It's working! All the sleep floaters are floating back home to their beds. We did it! Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Snuggly. You were super helpful. Mm. Tuck yourself back in the pack now. Let's go home. I'm sleepy. Sleepy? But we're just getting started. We just saved this whole town. Let's celebrate! <laughs> Phew, what a night. My sleepover didn't exactly go as planned. Yeah, but you saved the kingdom, True. <sighs> You're my hero. <laughs> and don't forget, we still have Nummelberry pancakes to enjoy in the morning. You're right. This was a pretty good sleepover after all. True? Mm. True! Wakey, wakey! Hmm? What? Hey, that smells like... Nummelberry pancakes! <laughs> we made them just for you! Thanks for saving everyone in Rainbow City! And you, you... Remembered how much I love bendy straws. Oh, thank you, True, for bringing my Moo Moo. Aw, thanks, everyone. Mmm, 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 that is so good. Bartleby, you've got to try some. Mmm, <laughs> best <laughs> pancakes <laughs> ever. Mmm, <laughs> totally delicious. Mm. 